evening, everybody. This is Jeanette Martin, brand ambassador for JD Farms Gourmet Turkey Products, located and lovingly created right here in Langley, British Columbia. I am so excited to be, uh, come to you today. Uh, it's been a great Monday. It's been an adapting Monday. Um, I'm going to be adapting this two potato Monday hash up with the JD Farms uh, Gourmet uh, breakfast sausages and maple. If you saw last week, I took these and I put them inside a waffle. Well, now um, I have some leftover sausages. So I thought, hey, why don't uh, why don't we do a two potato turkey sausage hash up uh, for dinner? Who doesn't like a little bit of breakfast for dinner? So um, first of all, I'll take you off my stand and I will turn you around and I'll show you what we're working with today. So I've already prepped, this is one small potato. I'm making this for one person. So if we go along in the recipe, um, you'd use probably two or three bigger potatoes. One small, if you kind of take a look at my hand, one small sweet potato. I've left the skin on. I like this taste of the skin. It's got a big earthier flavor and it's really good for you. I've got three cremini mushrooms. So you would use about six or seven of those. I've got a quarter of a red onion. I'm going to quickly fry an egg to go on top of this hash. I'm going to garnish it with a little Nona Pia balsamic reduction. That's chili lime to give it a little bit of heat, sweet heat. I'm going to take a green onion and garnish a little bit of sour cream on the side. I've got, um, I went out and I got some double smoked bacon and you can kind of see it's a little extra thick. So I only need um, one piece, probably about the size if you lived in Canada, about a loony or a toony. Um, and then if I was doing this for four people, I would probably use a whole rasher. That's what that's called. I've got my turkey breakfast maple sausages. And just for kind of some fun, I've got um, a little bit of green in there. Um, this is about three tablespoons of frozen kale. And I had some frozen cranberries in my freezer. So just a little bit of that sweet tart pop. So let's get cooking. First of all, look at this. This is a car holder. I brought in my car holder that was for my phone so I could have better hands free with you and hopefully not jiggle the camera as much. Not promising, but it could happen. So first of all, let's cut up um, the meat. And if you can take a look at my board here, you may get more of this than this from now on, but this is so much better. I've got a separate board with a damp cloth over my other board because we're gonna be doing the meat first um, and I don't wanna transfer any of my meat juices to my other board because I'm gonna be cutting up my vegetables. I also have two knives here. One I'm gonna be using to cut up my vegetables and one that I'm gonna be using to cut up my meat. So I have two different meats, uh, two different knives, two different cutting boards. So I'm gonna cut this one pretty fine, the bacon, about the size of a matchstick. Everybody knows what a matchstick is or a toothpick. So we've got pretty small little spice as uh, um, slices. And then my pan I go. That's going to start creating um, some nice background, sweet, smoky flavor in the background. I'm going to take two sausages. I'm making this for one person. It's going to be a pretty good serving. So two sausages. I'm going to cut those up. Put the size. Oh. I guess a little cherry, about the size of a, um, um, a cherry. And I'm keeping the skin on. It's nice about JD Farms um, sausages. It is a vegetarian casing. Kind of melt away when I do um, up the hash. So cutting that up. And we've got that cut up and set aside. Okay, I'm going to take my yucky board and my yucky knife. And I'm going to wash my hands. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'd love to know who's watching so far. Nick is watching and Michael is watching. Good evening to you all. A good chef. Those of you who are just tuning in for the first time. Back in 1983, I went to culinary school. Um, so, and my dad went to culinary school. I have a, my youngest brother is a Red Seal chef. And so food is very connecting in my family. So we wanted to, I wanted to bring my kitchen and connect it to your kitchen and hopefully inspire you as we're all kind of snuggling in and, and really getting to know all those items that are in our pantry. And when we go out grocery shopping, 
so important we get our list we make a good list we get in there and we get out and practice social distancing that um, if you're tuning in from Canada that two meters or six feet so back to cooking I've got always a bar cloth or bench cloth as I call it to keep my hands nice and um, uh, clean so I'm going to start with my sweet potato or yam I'm going to cut it up pretty fine cubes we're making the base for the hash and I'm going to cut this up I would say about the size about a half of the size of a dice who's watching now hi Paulette any questions I am open to answer any questions about this recipe about JD farms uh, just to let you know open till five now Monday to Friday they've got a brilliant new um, shop button online so you can order your turkey products right away the pictures are up there the pricing's up there they'll do drive-by open your trunk and stick it in family gets well taken care of okay so about again about the like the size of a small like half a size of a dice so I've got that in my bowl got my potato my white potato this was potato cutting it up the same size as my uh, sweet potato who's watching now hi Linda oh is your store still open? I think we're open um, nine to five every day so within the store um, you can shop you can pick up I think pre yeah pre-made sandwiches you can um, and of course shop online and they will um, have it packed up for you and I think there's time limit if you give them put your order in then you get to um, give them pull it together and if you do an order by three it will be made the next day thank you for the online or song and drive by option oh a song I didn't know we sang over there um that's a lot of fun I wonder I wonder what song it is somebody knows the song let me know the song so I'm going to take the mushroom again cut it in half I want it similar size you know, kind of that chunky um, ch chunky size chunky big flavors that gets cooked up any other questions out there is your source so oh, um, hey you Logan Lake I haven't been up to Logan close to can you let me know and you always want to keep your fingers out of the way watching from I'm in South Langley is where my kitchen is I'm really close to the Alder Grove border if you take a look I got my knuckles my fingers out of the way now this is a cool thing about my onion okay so this is how you want to do so I've left the skin on I've left the you kind of slice it through holding it down and normally it pulls back really easily normally but this is live out of my kitchen I want to keep the root this little piece on because believe it or not that helps to stop with the grind going to slice it down at about again a centimeter slice and the same kind of centimeter slice or pieces that I did for my okay we are ready put my egg on my dish put everything on my tray and let's get cooking I want to first of all before I um, show you I did something really innovative to help you guys because you know what I am just a home kitchen in my own pantry items to make sure that um, you guys could see a lot better more the pan and I could use my two hands so take a look at this I made this little stand for my phone today so these are wedges that you would kind of snap off and level out of um, like a piece of furniture old jelly jar two-way tape elastic band and this is a magnet and I've got a magnet on the back of my um, phone 
because that holder in my car. So now I'm able to do this. Watch this. Now you can see my pan. How exciting is that? And a little bit of sunshine in the background. So let's get cooking. This is going to take no time at all. Pretty high heat. Going to take some organic olive oil, probably just about a teaspoon of that olive oil. And we're going to do something interesting that I don't know that you guys have um, maybe have never seen. I'm going to bloom my spices because I want to open them up and I've got a little bit of um, a smokier flavor because we've kind of got the sweet of the potato and the kind of the sweet tartness of that cranberry. So this time I want a little bit more heat and I showed you this guys last uh, last week. This is a smoked paprika but this one's hot. So I'm only going to put maybe an eighth of a teaspoon in there. You can kind of see that it's going to start to sizzle. I've got some chili powder. And I like a pretty good amount of chili powder. I'm going to wake that spice up. Again, about a half a teaspoon of it. Good grating of pepper. Already I'm starting to smell those amazing spices come to life in that oil. And just to kind of marry some of that, that poultry flavor, I'm going to put in just a little bit of poultry seasoning that I had in my pan. My spatula, bloom that around. Any other question? Hi, Frida. Thank you for tuning in. Got 27 people watching out there. We are well over almost... Oh, almost 8,000 people that um, watch us on Facebook. So hello, everybody. This is, we're going to call this the pan cam. Okay, so that's opened up. Now I'm going to add in the uh, that bacon and the GD Farms maple sweet sausage, or the maple sausage. Because that's sweeter, we've got that heat. It's all about balancing flavor. Break that up. I'm gonna reduce my pan heat. I started pretty high. I have a gas stove, so I'm now on medium heat. Just cooking that up. Any questions about JD Farms? Looks like uh looks like a lot more than you say. Oh, it does. It really is only two. Because we're zooming in. So it's cooking pretty fast watching my heat. I might need to turn it down a little bit more. Okay, that's good. I would say I've cooked the meat about two-thirds of the way through. <coughs> a little spice hit in the old throat there. Okay. Let's add in all those ingredients. Oh, guys, this is going to be enough for two people. I'm going to have leftovers. And no, leftovers, fantastic. Basically, I'm just going to kind of keep cooking this around. And unlike the Food Network, I don't have another one um, someplace else. So this may take a little bit longer than what I would think. And what I'm going to do is when I'm done, I'll plate this up. I'll show you and take a picture of what it's going to look like. Let's throw in... So it's cranberry and that little bit of kale. Look at already how the, the colors just brighten up. And to speed up the cooking, what we can do is I've got my kettle. And add a little bit of moisture in there. And the potatoes and the, um, the sweet potato is going to cook up. Turn my heat back up because my water was cold. I'll correct my seasoning. I'll give it a little bit of a taste later. And I'll um, put a little bit of the sea salt in there. Lots of pepper. A little bit more pepper. I love pepper. And then because it's kind of a breakfasty idea, 
and think about your spices in here the sweetness of the maple syrup the sweetness of that sweet potato the heat of the smoked hot pepper the tartness of the cranberry kind of got a little bit of a Christmas thing going on in here one spice that I love to use is nutmeg and this is a what's called a rasp or a grater I'm gonna give probably about an eighth of a teaspoon of grated nutmeg nutmeg and the sweet potato go really well nutmeg and turkey goes really well nutmeg and cranberry go really well so it's a perfect spice And I'm throwing it all over the floor. So, okay. Jennifer Miller, spice for your liking. Uh, who do you do also? She mentioned she likes the spice, so you can always put less. Oh, absolutely. You can, um, you know, after it's done, you can also use a little bit of hot sauce on top as well. You could use a little cayenne if you didn't have the smoky pepper. If you had some cayenne in your uh, cupboard, a little Tabasco as well. Uh, looks delicious and you're easy to listen to. Good job. Thank you, Laura. Looks like a lot more. Oh, hi, Loretta. Oh my gosh, Loretta is tuning in all the way from Nova Scotia. So while we're cooking here and I'm answering questions, no good hash is, is good without like an egg put on the top. And I'm just going to take my spoon here. Yeah, probably about five more minutes. On a separate pan, I've got about a teaspoon of butter. And I'm going to cook an egg in here. It's not very exciting to cook an egg. Um, because we're going to put the egg on top of the hash. So I'm going to get the butter melted. It's going to be a slow poached. I don't want any color on my egg. So I'm going to wait for my butter to melt before I put in the egg. So any other questions out there? Let me kneel down. I'm going to call myself a pop-up chef. Can you tell me where you're tuning in from? I got, I had a Logan Lake. I got Loretta from Nova Scotia. To heat up a little bit higher because I want to melt off all that liquid get a little bit of color a little bit of crispness on this anybody else out there give me a thumbs up or a heart if you've ever had breakfast for dinner Langley City. I live in Langley Township. Thank you, Michael. If it's your first time tuning in, let me know. I'm going to go more with uh, JD Farms. I'm their brand ambassador. I'm normally out in the stores with their products. Oops, I just flipped some out of my pan. This is real cooking, people. Okay, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. My butter is melted. Turn my heat down. Crack my egg in there. Put my lid on because I want to baste it. Oh, can you see the little caramely bits that are starting to happen now? Oh my gosh, guys. This is real cooking. I keep flipping stuff out of my pan. I'm just going to take my spoon again. Yep, the sweet potatoes are done. Potatoes a little bit longer. A peek on my egg. Yep. The egg is perfect. Hi, Paulette. Looks yummy. Oh, first timer. Welcome. If you guys have any recipes you want me to create using JD Farms products, I have their sausages here in my house. Um, and I also have their turkey burgers. I'm thinking I'm going to do a keto turkey burger. 
where you use the turkey as the bun and slice it in half and let's build a keto turkey burger. This is almost ready to plate. We're about, oh, 15 minutes in total for this recipe. Mmm, breakfast for your dinner? Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to call, oh, I'm just going to taste it to see how my potatoes are. Mmm, they're perfect. They're still a little crunchy, but not raw, so we get that kind of texture. Okay, we're done. I'm going to take this over, so let's go. How was, oh, oops. I forgot. How was that, eh? That was pretty cool. So let's go back. Oh. I've got my, my trivet. Put you down here. Oops. Okay. Okay, we got my egg. I've got my dish here. Perfect. My perfectly cooked egg that took maybe um, two minutes. So let's plate this up. Oh yeah, this is definitely enough for two. Let's tidy up the plate, because even though it's myself, me, myself, and I for dinner, I like my meal to look beautiful and well presented, because I'm special and everybody else out there is special. Let's put that, oh, from, oh there's my special. Let's put that perfectly cooked egg on there. Slice up some the green part of a green onion. Nice little rough chop on an angle. Make it look a little fancy. Okay, because potatoes and um, go really well with sour cream. Just a little bit of sour cream on the side. My hands are clean. Wash my hand. And like I said at the beginning, I'm going to use the balsamic vinegar reduction by Nona Pia. It's got uh, chili and lime. Let's garnish this up. Maybe just a little bit. And so, like there. So, bring the camera over here. There we go. There is the two potato Monday hash up using the JD Farms, uh, the JD Farms maple turkey sausages um, with some um, onion, mushroom, and a little bit of cranberry, a little bit of kale in there with a softly fried egg and with a little balsamic for your dinner and some sour cream. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this video and you want other people to tune on, please share it on. Um, if you have any questions about the recipe on the replay, please put replay in the comments and I'll answer them the best that I can. From my home kitchen to your home kitchen, from the JD Farms family to your family, please uh, be safe, um, please be healthy, and please stay at home. We want you around for generations and generations to come at our store. Tune in again, watch the Facebook Live page when I'll be back creating something else with the JD Farms Turkey products. Enjoy the night, everybody, and uh, bon appétit. Gobble, gobble. Bye-bye.